It's Real to Run with Cars and Cribs and I'm back with another car review. Today, we're back again by popular demand. 2021 Kia Telluride Nightfall Edition. This one here is the top of the line version and we're going to spend a lot of time going over the features inside of the vehicle. Let's get to it. Okay, we're first gonna start, we're gonna work our way from the back of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle. And just so you guys know, I'm not an expert at this, I'm not a salesperson, I just know a few things that John told me about the vehicle. And sometimes I'm not gonna know everything. So I, I like that you guys sometimes comment below and let me know some features that the vehicle have that I don't know. So it's always good to do that. But first we're gonna start off with the automatic open. I love that feature on the vehicle. And then this isn't much space. You kill for you know a few bags of groceries and everything right here, but if you would like to, you can just fold these down. I'm gonna pull this lever here, and that's gonna fold down. So you can fold down the third row seats here. Then on your left hand side, you also have two buttons where you can fold down the two seats in front of the third row seat, which would be the second seats. Fold that down there. Fold that down there. The one thing I love about this vehicle is there are bucket seats in the front because sometimes it's hard to keep on pushing the seat down and up and down and up when people need to get in now they can just come through the middle and go out the door so that's something i really like about the vehicle so in the third row we also have usbs on both sides usb here usb there for the kids they can plug in their ipads their phones or whatever gets and gas they have and then you can just they can sit their stuff right here like you know the little toys and stuff they have or maybe cheetos hopefully they're not eating cheetos in your vehicle but you never know kids they can do stuff all the time and then they have a cup holder right there as well. And I love, look at this, the Alcantara on the roof. They also have their own heating vents back here that you can open and close for them so they can get them some heat and everything. The first thing you're gonna notice in row number two is the leg room. Look at all the leg room I have. I'm not crammed up. And this seat is set just how I had it when I was driving the vehicle. So you have plenty of room back here and on the seat, you're gonna notice you have adjustable armrests. So if I like to chill like this, maybe I wanna sit up a little bit more, chill like this. This really depends on which way you wanna sit. Not only that, you also have these beautiful, genuine leather. This is not no vinyl, this is the real deal. And then on top of that, you have heated and cooled seats. I mean, how many vehicles you know comes with that? Another great thing that they have on the seats is, so if you look down at the bottom, you're gonna notice a button. This, the seats actually have two buttons. This button down here is for when you're outside of the car and you wanna get in the, in the back, you're gonna press this button. It's gonna move the seat forward and you're gonna get in the back seat. There's also another button here at the top is so the people in the third row can exit the vehicle. Very simple, all you gotta do is press the button and they can just climb right out the vehicle. Also, it has the adjustment as you guys can see. So you can sit closer, you can sit further, and that's always a good thing to have because it's depend it's all about comfortability. Whatever, however you feel that you want to sit, or some people may, you know, just sit in different ways. So that's always a great thing to have. Now to be done and over with the seats, we're gonna go to the heat. Because it's cold outside. So you can adjust your heat right here for the rear seats. You can adjust where you want the air to blow to. You can adjust the fan speed. You have your own setup back here. Everything you need is right here, so it's very convenient for you. Now, what else do you need when you're in the back seat? Of course, you don't wanna always have to keep on giving the people in the front seat your phone to charge it. You have your own USB back here. USB here for me, behind the driver. USB for the person behind the passenger. And if that's not enough for you, just say you need a laptop or something, Bam, you can plug that right here. 
And then if you like to smoke cigars or you or you just want to plug in another phone, you can plug it right here. Now, you have the comfortable seats. You have the heating and cooling seats. You have the room, plenty of leg space. What else do you need? You need your own cup holders. You don't want to pass everything up front. You go to McDonald's, you want to get the kids stuff. You got to have your own cup holders. So you have two cup holders here, one for the left side, one for the right side. And maybe you have a pop, but you don't want to drink pop soda all the time. So you can put your water bottle right down there. And then you say, okay, I got a lot of stuff, but I need one more thing. The one more thing is the shade. Just in case you don't want any sunlight in it. You want to sit back here and relax. You're going to put that shade up, sit back here, open the roof. And you're going to let me lean back a little bit. You're going to chill. You know, you can lean back like that. You know, there ain't no sun beaming in your eye. you just chilling. So that's it for row number two. Don't forget, you have the double sunroof. You have the one in the back, which the controls are right up here in the front, so you can close that. And then you have your one in your front. The double roofs. The double roofs are legendary. Now in the first row, which is the driver and the passenger seat, the first thing you're gonna notice is this beautiful wood. That's real wood, it's not plastic, janky. It's very nice, it has a good touch to the car. You notice that this door handle is not like plastic, janky, it's like very nice and clean and elegant. And then you have the memory seats right here. You're gonna move down to your window controls, your unlock and lock. Then you have the child safety button. And then you have the mirror adjustment. Now we're gonna do the driver controls. The first button on your left here is to brighten and dim the lights inside the vehicle. Your second button here is your blind spot control, which helps you change lanes if you're gonna hit another car, it's gonna let you know. This here is the lane departure to make sure you stay within the lines. You can turn it on and off if you're trying to text, which you shouldn't be, you might want to use that. This here is the traction control. Depends on what you're doing. If you want to have the traction control on and off. And this is to open your trunk lid. Now we're going to move on to the steering wheel. You have your phone controls and your volume controls and everything with the radio here. And then on this side, you have your cruise control. I could not forget, of course, you have heads up display. Let's talk about the infotainment system. This is one of a kind. This is one of the first cars I've seen with all of this stuff in here. I mean, it is touch screen, so you can do the touch screen or you can just use the buttons down here. And this is your map button. You can see the map. Then you have your navigation. You're gonna type in everything right here to get you to your destination. Then you have the radio. You're gonna set it up however you like that. And then you have the media. Now, one thing I wanna say, this is the first time I've seen this is, you actually can get like nature sounds and stuff. You can ride around and listen to this stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring, we're not going to the nature, nature's gonna come to us. Let's check out this Harman, this Harman Kardon sound system. And they have different settings here too. So they can do that, it's the wave. Rain day. Everything is just so crystal clear. Warm fireplace. This is what I'll be listening to. The audio sounds amazing in here. So, just in case you had a long day at work or something, this is what you want to do. Then you also have the weather right there just in case you want to know how warm or cold it is outside. Of course, you have to have heated steering wheel. Just in case you forgot your mend at home, bam, you can turn that on. Then you have your AC and heat controls. Then we're gonna go down a little bit further. USB ports. It's USB ports galore in this vehicle. Then you have, not only that, you also have 
the wireless phone charger. So right here you have your heated and cooled seats. And then we're gonna move down to the different drive modes. You have comfort, comfort for if you just wanna just relax and chill. You have the sport in case you wanna go a little bit faster. You have smart. You have eco. And then you have snow, which we will be using very soon because it'll be snowing before we know it for those of you in the Illinois area. You also have cup holders, parking brake. And that's just about it right there. You also have another USB cord port in your armrest holder, in your armrest. I really like this is you can take this out and put it back in just in case you don't want to use it. Put some change or something in there. But that's just about it for the 2021 Kia Telluride Nightfall Edition. Top of the line with all of the bells and whistles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. John, where do they need to come if they're looking to purchase a Kia? Come right over here to Classic Kia, Waukegan, Illinois, 425. North Green Bay Road, just south of Grand and Green Bay. Guess what guys, I have a special surprise. They do have some Tellurites in stock. So if you're looking for one, you might have come down here and ask for John and let them know Real to Rome sent you. It's John and Real to Rome and we gone. <laughs>